Hello, I am Christopher, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about Final Cut Pro, the new sharing menu that um, Apple put in the um, Final Cut Pro version uh, 10.0.6, and they updated this a few days ago and, you know, changed a bunch of things, added a bunch of new features, and um, just love some of these changes that they made. Well, one of the things that they did change was, you'll notice right here, they added the sharing icon, and they didn't have that before. If you've ever used an iPad or an iPhone, you'll notice that it looks uh, fairly similar to it. And even in Safari on the desktop, um, they have the same little share icon that looks uh, very similar to this. So they've added this here. It's not up here in the top anymore. It used to be up here. You'd share, and then you'd you know go to export or uh, YouTube, Vimeo, you know, whatever. It used to be in the top menu. Now that's handled down here, and you just kind of tap that, and you'll notice you have a few options here: share, uh, DVD, mask file, YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, um, Apple devices, export file, and add destination. So let me share a little bit about add destination. So you'll just click that. So you can add a few little options to your panel when you first click on it. And you know you can add Blu-ray, um, save current frame, compression, or compressor, excuse me, uh, bundle, um, HTTP live streaming, uh, CNN iReport. So you have a couple other options in here that you can add to your destination um, menu if you want to do it. You can also delete some of these like I will not um, export the DVD so I can just highlight it and tap on the minus icon right here and then you'll notice that it is not in my share menu any longer when I come over here and I click share DVD does not show up any longer so um, you can also have you also have some other options here so if I tap export you can just tap export right here and the little expert, um, export menu will pop open. You'll notice you have an info tab right here. You can rename this. This is just a test. So we will just, this is a test. You could add your title. You could add a description to what your video is about. You could add your name as the creator. You could also add tags. And right here, it says Total iPad. This is my event folder because this, I use this for my Total iPad videos. So I could also add other tags to it. So if I just wanted to add Shark, um, ocean demo whatever I could do that and then I can tap settings up here at the top right and open up and I can have uh, choose my format my Kodak um, QuickTime include chapter markers when done if you choose to open you know say QuickTime or something uh, you could do that and roll as QuickTime movie so let me just show you some of the formats here video only Apple devices computer web hosting so I'll just do the Apple devices here and then I can come down here to the resolution pick which screen size that I want to do I could do the video Kodak I could do the better or faster and when I'm done I could choose to VLC app compressor library etc etc if I choose to do that but I do not so I can go to web hosting uh, same thing you have a few little um, oops, different little screen sizes here from 854 by 480 all the way up to 920 by 1080 um, tap on Let's just go video and audio, and then you can choose video codec. You have uh, Apple ProRes 4444, and all the way down to HD Cam HD 422, 50 megs. So I'm just going to put it back on H.264 for myself personally. You have a little info down here. shows you frames per second, stereo. Um, you have the time and the length of the video you're exporting. Uh, QuickTime Movie. Um, use for a Mac so you can tap that and uh, it'll show you what this um, video is going to be exported for what kind of device and it also shows you the size or the estimated size of the video file so then you can just tap next and then it'll pop open and you can choose where you want to export your file to desktop if you have a external wherever it may be you could go ahead and do that so let me cancel this and I'm just show you another little thing here with YouTube so I can tap my YouTube right here and this is the same exact thing I can rename it add a description creator I could also add tags that will show up in YouTube when I export my video you could also choose to change the settings um, for YouTube so you can go like 480 if you want it to upload really fast or if you want better quality go all the way down to HD 1080p compression you could do better or faster and you could choose like your category you could also make this video private or public if you choose to do so and then you could tap details right here and log into your YouTube account if you choose to do so so that's my um my test uh, YouTube youtube.com forward slash dosage 
is my um, channel. That's just my test and I don't upload videos to it. But, um, and then you just tap next and then it will start to export and you will get the little, I'll show you really fast. You will get the little menu here showing you yada, 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 telling you, you know, YouTube, uh, YouTube terms of service. And then you'll get your little media browser. It'll show you that it is um, exporting or sharing. And that little window will pop up. But um, basically, that's it. That's um, that's how you export and change a little bit from before. And I kind of like it now. This is, you know, right here. You know, I'm not having to go up here in my menu bar to export things. Uh, I have everything right here, I can customize it to my to my liking to the places that I share the most videos to. You know, I have a little list here, and I can manage that. And uh, it's really good. I'm really impressed with a lot of the things that Apple has added in 10.0.6 for Final Cut Pro X. Or Final Cut Pro 10. I just always say FCPX. But uh, thank you for watching. Remember, you go to Crizzo.net. I've got a ton of videos, mostly iPad stuff, but uh, I do have some other videos. I'm starting to do more and more videos regarding Final Cut Pro, Motion. I'll have some Adobe Premiere stuff on there, After Effects, etc. But uh, thank you. Have a terrific day. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you are not.